In this video, we are going to learn about force voltage and force current and log A. So in the previous video, we discussed about how to model a system. So for modeling a system, we can either model the mechanical system or we can model the electrical system. For modeling mechanical system, we need mass, spring and dashboard. For modeling an electrical system, we need resistor, inductor and capacitor. Now I have a question. Which system is easier to model? Whether it is mechanical system or electrical system? Making an electrical system is easier. See, resistor, inductor and capacitor are easily available other than this mass, spring and dashboard. Okay. So, making an electrical system is more easier than making a mechanical system. Now comes the input and output part. Okay. Suppose think that there is a system. This is my system. Okay. G of S. Now, I am going to give an input force. What will happen if I am going to push this object? The object will move with a displacement x. Okay. This is my mechanical system. In mechanical system, I am giving a force and the object will move. Displacement is my output. So, input is force and output is displacement. Okay. That is in mechanical system. Now, my question is what are the input and output in electrical system? In electrical system, input can be input can be either voltage or current. Okay. Likewise, output also it can be either voltage or current. Since there are two types of input, we are making this force voltage and force current and logi. First of all, we will write force and voltage, then we will take force and current. So now we can learn about force voltage and logi. So in this case, for mechanical system, the input is force. So for electrical system, the input will be voltage. If the input is voltage, then we will say force, voltage and logi. Now what is the output? If voltage is the input, output will be current. So in mechanical system, we will denote displacement as x. So velocity v will be dx by dt. Okay. Likewise, in electrical system, our output is current. Okay. So charge is q. So what will be current i? i is dq by dt. See the similarity. Now, in mechanical system, the input it is force. So for each and every element, the input it is going to be force. Okay. Now, what is the equation for force if mass is element? F equal to mass into acceleration. That means acceleration it is d square x by dt square. So this is the equation for force if the element is mass. If the element is spring, the equation for mass it is if the equation for force it is f equal to kx. Now if the element is dashboard, the equation for force it is b dx by dt. This is all we discussed in the previous videos. If you are watching this video for the first time, please watch that videos. Okay. Then only you will understand how we got these equations. Now so now the, these terms are in terms of displacement x, 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 but we need it in the term of velocity. So what we will do? So this is mass into dv by dt. Okay. Mass into acceleration. Acceleration is change in velocity by change in time. So for mass, the equation is f equal to m dv by dt. Now we got in terms of velocity. Now for f equal to kx, I will come to that before that. The last equation f equal to b dx by dt. dx by dt it is v. So we can write bv. Okay, now for spring. From this equation, try to find x. For finding x, what we will do? So dx dx will be equal to v into dt. For finding x, integrate both sides. Then we will get x equal to integral v dt. Now substitute x. So first of all, f equal to k into x. Instead of x, write this term integral v dt. Now we got all this equation in terms of velocity. See m dv by dt k integral v dt bv. Now in electrical system resistance here in the input it is voltage. So for each element we are going to take input voltage. So voltage okay. Now for resistor how to find voltage? Voltage is equal to i into r. For inductor the voltage it is l di by dt. For capacitor the voltage it is 1 by c integral i dt. Likewise, if you don't know how you got this equation, just watch the previous videos. Okay. I will write only this equation, then it will be easier for you to understand. Now let us compare these two equations. Okay. Input it is force. Here input it is voltage. Output in velocity. Here output in current. Okay. So input force, output in terms of velocity. So the equations, look at the equations. Input force, output in terms of velocity. Input force, output in terms of velocity. Input force, output in terms of velocity. Okay. Now electrical system, input voltage, output in terms of current. 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 
Now let us compare these two equations, okay? So first of all, we can take mass. For mass, the equation is F equal to m dv by dt, a constant into its differential. So comparing in this, the inductor, V equal to L dy by dt, a constant into its differential. So mass and inductor are analogous. The equations, look at the equation, m dv by dt, here L dy by dt. Now the second one, spring. The equation is F equal to K integral V dt, a constant into its integration. So look at here capacitor, a constant and integration. So spring, spring and capacitor are in analogous. So spring we can write K, okay. So spring and capacitor, capacitor here it is 1 by C. So we will write 1 by C. Okay, now the remaining one dashboard, look at the equation F equal to constant and output. See, V equal to constant and output similar so dashboard and resistor are similar so this is the analogous for mechanical system mass and electrical system inductor spring capacitor dashboard and resistor in mechanical system we will write the force balance equation that is sum of force will be equal to zero that is the force balance equation we discussed in the previous video okay so in electrical system here the elements are connected in series as i told you resistor inductor and capacitor are connected in series at that time current will be series okay so if elements are connected in series we will apply mesh equation at that time the sum of voltage will be equal to zero okay sum of voltage is zero when we apply mesh equation mesh equation when elements are connected in series okay so our input is voltage sum of voltage is zero when it will be zero when we apply mesh equation when we apply mesh equation when elements are connected in series here sum of forces will be equal to zero that is force balance equation force balance equation so this is the comparison for force voltage analog system now we are going to discuss about force current analog system in force current analog system in mechanical system the input it is force so in electrical system the input it is going to be what will be the input for force current input it is current here input it is force here input it is current so force current now what will be the output if current is the input output will be voltage okay so input it is current input it is current so we are going to write the equation for current i i and i you need to write the equations for resistor how to find the current i is According to Ohm's law, V equal to I R. From that, we will get I equal to V by R. Okay. Inductor, what will be the current? Inductor, the current it is 1 by L integral V D T. Okay. Now, for capacitor, what is the current? Current it is C D V by D T. All these equations, how it come, all these things we discussed in the previous videos. I am not discussing it now because the length of the video will be more. Okay. Now, compare these two equations. See, here input and output input it is force output in terms of velocity here input current output in terms of voltage see v v and v okay now compare these two equations for mass the corresponding equation a constant into its derivative where it is a constant into its derivative so mass and capacitor are analogous mass and capacitor are analogous now spring a constant and its integration a constant and its integration so spring and inverse of inductor 1 by L okay here it is K here it is 1 by L now dashboard F equal to BV two constants multiplication so that is V multiplied by 1 by R similar okay so dashboard and okay here B is in numerator here R is in denominator so B and 1 by R so these are the analogous quantity for mass in electrical capacitor for spring in electrical 1 by inductor for dashboard in electrical one by resistance okay now here here the elements will be connected in parallel okay sum of current will be equal to zero input sum of input is zero here sum of force is zero like that here sum of current will be equal to zero when when will be sum of current will be equal to zero when we apply node equation that means kcl current kcl kcl means node equation kvl mesh equation okay so sum of current equal to zero that is when we apply node equation and we will apply Kirchhoff current law when elements are connected in parallel okay so a cube comparison here first of all we can take the mechanical system the input it is force output we are taking velocity okay so input it is force so for each element the equation for force f f and f for mass the equation it is m dv by 
dt for spring the equation it is k kx so we are writing in terms of velocity then it will become integral v dt now for dashboard f is equal to b into v and one more thing is there the sum of forces will be equal to zero that is force balance equation this is for mechanical system now we are going to write force voltage system okay force voltage analogy so in force voltage analogy the input it is going to be in force voltage so input it is going to be voltage here input it is force here input input it is voltage so if input is voltage output it is going to be current okay so we need to write a resistor okay the electric elements are resistor inductor and capacitor okay now here the input it is voltage so we need to write the equation of voltage for each of this element okay and they are in the equation should be in terms of current so resistor it is voltage it is i into r according to ohm's law for inductor v is equal to l da by dt then capacitor the equation for voltage it is 1 by c integral i dt okay now here the sum of voltage will be equal to zero sum of input that is sum of voltage will be equal to zero that is kirchhoff voltage law that is in mesh equation so here elements will be connected in series okay okay now in force current in force current what is the input force current so input it is going to be for force here the input it is current now output it is going to be if current is input output is going to be voltage so input it is current so we need to write the equation for current i i and i and output in terms of voltage we need to write okay so first of all for resistor the current it is i equal to v by r okay for inductor the current it is going to be 1 by l integral v dt now for capacitor the current it is going to be c dv by dt now in this case sum of current will be equal to zero sum of current will be equal to zero that is kirchhoff voltage law that is node equation node equation so element will be connected in resistor inductor and capacitor will be connected in parallel okay then only we can write node equation now let us look at the analogous quantities okay so for resistor resistor it is v equal to ir so here it is f equal to bv so b and r so instead of dashboard we will take resistor now inductor v equal to l dA by dt similar equation here it is f equal to m dv by dt so instead of m we will take inductor so instead of mass we will take inductor now capacitor v equal to 1 by c integral dt so here it is f equal to k integral v dt so instead of spring we will take capacitor so instead of spring we will take capacitor 1 by c okay now in force current instead of resistor this is resistor i equal to v by r here it is f equal to bv so instead of b we will take 1 by r instead of b instead of dashboard we will take 1 by r now here i equal to 1 by l integral v dt similar equation here it will be this one f equal to k integral here also integral so instead of k we will take 1 by l so instead of spring we will take 1 by l then the last equation i equal to c dv by dt here it is f equal to m dv by dt differentiation differentiation so instead of mass we will take capacitance so instead of mass we will take capacitance so in the next video we can do a problem based on force voltage and force current analogy